Hi everyone, welcome to this week's installment of Synapse's What Is series. And this week we're going to be talking about the magic triangle. Not to be confused with the Bermudic Triangle, so if that's what you're here for, go elsewhere. We're talking about the magic triangle. And the magic triangle represents the relationship between learning objectives, learning activities, and learning assessment. If these three components are built with the intention of interdependence, then teaching and learning are greatly enhanced and superior outcomes are achieved. If one or more of these components isn't optimal, then learners become discouraged, confused, bored, unhappy, and obviously it negatively affects the learning outcomes. A key factor to consider with this model is that if one side of the triangle is missing, then learning collapses and is not effective. Let's look at the first segment, objectives. When writing learning objectives, it's important to remember that goals are outcomes for the students, not for the L&D team. Learning objectives should be written in specific and measurable terms. Once the objective is correctly established, it'll help guide the creation of effective and focused training. Learning activities, on the other hand, refer to the course assets, things like audio, video, animations. Mapped to the ADDIE model, learning activities are the actions the instructional designer plans during the design phase and the student carries out to learn in the implementation phase. Tests, projects, and presentations can all form part of the third aspect of the magic triangle, assessments. Assessments are developed during the design phase of ADDI, and it's important that they be aligned both with learning objectives and learning activities. One way to make sure all elements of the magic triangle are aligning correctly is to conduct pre-test and post-test as part of the assessment. A pre-test establishes what a user already knows about a subject before beginning the course. It should be uh, simple questions, true or false, or multiple choice. By examining the pre-test results, the course content, and the more complex post-test results, it will become clear whether the content was the appropriate level for the learning objective. L&D leaders should track all objectives, assessments, and activities to determine what's working and what's not. Efficiencies can be uncovered by repackaging and repurposing content for use by different learners. By embracing newer ideologies like a learning design system, anyone can crowdsource training ideas. Not only that, they can perform a needs analysis, convert technical content to learning material, or design new training content rapidly and at scale. That satisfies both your learners and your instructional design team. That's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to know more about Synapse's learning design system, you can head over to our website at getsynapse.com. You can schedule a demo or we've got a ton of other learning resources for you. Thanks again.